because this is only like a, just a temporary solution so we don't have to worry too much about building a whole kind of house. This is good, look. We've got everybody doing a good job over here. We're, we're putting all of our stockpile cool stuff there. I oh, should probably change this around, actually. We really annoy them here. I'm going to switch it around. Just be like, uh, can you put the zone that we don't want in the corner? That probably makes more sense. Uh, six by six, yeah. And we want a regular stockpile here. So the good stuff goes there. Thank you. I apologize for making you move it, but you're just going to be like, boop, 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 boop. And that's going to be probably a lot better than anything else. We can also defend our, our, our bits and pieces as well, because there will be some random things happening. But luckily, so far, nothing's happened, he says. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be fine. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Just have to excuse me whilst I have a little drink every now and again, because this is going to be a nice long recording session. So what happened with Doc? What are you up to? You're carrying some more wood back. So you are... So Doc's doing some construction. It looks like we might need to rearrange our priorities a little bit. Um, now let's have a look. How do we do that? Do we go into the overview? Yeah, we go into the overview. Right, so currently we've got... Plant cutting, mining, crafting, hauling, cleaning, researching. So Chapman is the social one, so we want her to, to be taking care of all the like the social aspects of things. Uh, which doesn't actually on there. Factions? Well, no. I, I think we have to manually do that later on. Um, but everyone needs to fire fight, that's fine. Doc is the doctor, so I don't know why that's been done like that, so we'll change that. Everyone can be a patient. The wardens uh, are visit prisoners to recruit them. So Chapman should be doing that because she's got the social skills. So we'll do that. We'll make Chapman do the the, the social stuff. The cook can be uh, average of and skills three out of twenty, three out of twenty, six out of twenty. Yeah. So Crafty is going to be the cook for now, I guess. That's fine. Four point five, three, and one point five. So yeah, Doc is the hunter. So that's fine. Uh, and then the constructor. This should be Crafty, shouldn't it? Three out of twenty, one out of twenty, four out of twenty. We can get some construction going on from Crafty as well here. Repairing, I guess. Four out of 20 makes sense. Three and one. Sure. Uh, crafty as well for the growing. Well, seven out of 20 is pretty good, actually. But I guess we could have everybody on the growing duties. Don't you think? Hmm. Yeah, let's just have everybody on the growing duties. Because that's just a case of filling that field up. So that's not too much of a problem. And then we've got some mining skills here, which is good. Plant cutting. Eh. You know, whoever, really. There's no relevant skills, so we'll have everybody doing it. Crafting. Crafty should be doing the crafting, but we'll have everybody doing it, whatever. Uh, and then I guess beautiful works of art. Yeah, everyone can do that. Hauling is important. Cleaning is also important. But it looks like yeah, everybody's the same on that as well. So that's fine. So we've got Doc as the doctor. We've got uh, the warden as the, as the prison. Chapman's the prison sort of looker. And then Crafty over here is, uh, is the cook. And also is on constructing duty. And eventually we'll be on repairing duty, I guess. That's fine. Yeah, and, and, and Doc is the hunter because that, she has the best skills. So fine. No, that's good. Okay. You can configure stockpiles and storage buildings by selecting them and opening the storage tab above the bottom left inspect the pane. And we're not worrying about that too much right now because we are taking care of everything else. I love this, what we've done here. This is amazing. Oh, yes. That's it, Doc. Where are you going to put that? Are you going to go inside to build it? Yeah, build a... Oh, she's doing all the beds. Oh, that's great. You are you are doing a good job, Doc. Thank you. That is fantastic. Okay, so can we just how do we close like the thing that we're looking at? Do we just click off it? Yeah, there we go. Just click off it. Chapman is doing what are you doing, Chapman? You're heading down here to get some food, which is fair enough, I guess. And Crafty, you're doing the same thing? Milady? Yes you are. Okay, that's fine. And Doc, are you doing the same thing as well? Yeah, it looks like you all are. Okay, that's fine. You can you can all do that. I'll just let you get on with that in the meantime real quick here. Just take a take a meal and eat the meal. And then go back. And if you build the beds there, and once that's been taken care of, then we don't have to worry too much anymore. Because it's all been finished. It's all been finished and done with. Go on, Doc. Eat your meal. And then get over there. Can we get everybody just building these beds real quick? And then you have a place to sleep. And then, and then you won't have to, like, pass out, <laughs> basically. That'd be good. That'd be good. Crafty, are you are you on it? Like a carb on it? You are. Oh, fan fantastic. Look at this. Yeah, you build that bed. Great. 
Crafty's bed and she's sleeping in it. She's like, I'm done. I'm sleeping in the bed that I just made. <laughs> can you make the other bed so that we can have Chapman have a little sleep as well? or is Because I don't think Chapman can craft things. No, she can't. <laughs> Let's just make her quickly be able to construct her own bed. Prioritize constructing bed. Looks like she's actually taking care of it herself. And sleep in your own bed. Bam. Done. Sleep. There we go. Perfect. And then we can actually take her back off of construction duty because we don't really want her to be doing that. She has other things that she can take care of. But at least everybody's actually having a nice sleep now, which is good. Because the, the sanity is obviously a, a, a one that we need to we need to keep an eye on. Uh, so, yeah, resting is good. That's good. Oh, Crafty's waking up. That's good. We've got all these bits and pieces going on here. Oh, look at this. Dorky. Oh, did you just make the, the, the room? It looks like the room just got made. And you're finishing off. You're making the next bit. Oh, that's great. Look at that. Yes, we have finished that. That's awesome. Now, do we need any more? It looks like we might need some more metals. I think they might be going to get some, from what I can see. Now, Crafty is taking care of a little bit of... Uh, it looks like you might actually just be chopping this tree down. Yep, there we go. It's been taken care of. Here's space to pause and run pause the game. You can give all as well pawns. There we go. If things get hectic, just hit space. You guys can shout that out to me. That's fine. Oh, I'll tell you what we can do whilst we're waiting for the, the new power station thing to be built. We can put in a couple of things, uh, like a battery, uh, which can just kind of go... It doesn't actually look like it matters too much, but we'll put the battery sort of like at the foot of the bed here. Uh, because I don't know how far away it can be from the power. And then this the torch can be like just sort of like at the end of the power. There we go. So just sort of like getting some really, really basic things taken care of at the moment. Uh, and I also want to get these things out of here. Can we just haul that stuff? Uh, orders. Haul things. These things. Thank you. Get them out of here. Don't want them in here. There we go. So where's everybody off to? Are you all going over here again? Oh, no, you're coming back. Chapman's going back. Where are you going, Chapman? You're just doing some more planting. That's fine. We need plenty of food. Doc is getting on with the power plant, as is Crafty. Oh, Crafty's getting the battery and stuff done. So that's good. Okay, so we'll we'll get them back, and then we'll go back into normal speed. Don't miss things too much. Oh, this is a great game. I'm really enjoying this. Hope you guys are enjoying it too. It looks like we've got enough metal. Have we got enough metal? Oh, we have. Oh, awesome, Doc. You are you are getting through that. Isn't that amazing? Uh, this should be your construction skill, shouldn't it? Yeah, it is. Look at that. You can see it. It's going up. Wow, that is amazing. Doc, you are on it like a car bonnet. Look at you. That's amazing. Done and done. We have power. Now we need a defensive gun. You've been here some time and probably been seen. Pirate raids will start soon. Okay, well, that's not good. So we need to get a gun sorted out. Now, uh, production. Oh, security, isn't it? There we go. Improvised turret. These are actually pretty good. It just needs to be close enough to this power so we can put it like here and that'll be in close enough to that power uh, or we could put it sort of like out here a little bit more it looks like it has to be there and then there's going to be where we're going to be able to build the first one so we'll do that and then maybe we'll build a second one as well sort of on the same like line there let's do that let's build two and it's just like sort of things that you're required to do at some point if that's okay, guys, just take care of that. Build the sandbags around it. And then what we can do is we can build, like... Um, we can probably build, like, a second row of sandbags all the way around. Like this. I know we currently don't have, like, the resources, but... Okay, you can quickly dismiss letters. There we go. So we've got, like, a little thing. where We can actually put, like, another turret in the middle there, probably. Oh, it's not this direction. The wrong shape. We don't need one. We can have just the turrets on the other side of the side. And then we have a bit in the middle where we can all chill out. And if we need to, we can put like the gun, the equipment cases and stuff can go there, I guess. Let's have a look. Uh, it's where we can keep some things, I guess. And we can have, we can put other stuff in there. That's not a problem at all. But it's a good place to start, I think. We could put a standing lamp in there. Just like that. Boom. Get some light up in this in this place. Should be pretty cool. In fact, we can, yeah, we can actually like sort of take care of that and make it so it's bright in there. But we're not going to worry about that now. That's fine for now. We've, we've got that sorted out. We actually are managing to store a little bit of power as well. And there's a little bit of light in here, which is nice. I love this. Look at this. Stone tiles. It's lit in here. It's dark in this corner. 
but it's litish, brightish. Uh, I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. I think we'll be okay. We've got Chapman taking care of that tree right now. Good job, Chapman. It's good to see that you're taking care of business every day. <laughs> There's a little jam sandwich over here. Just like bear oh, it's like a box of berries, I think that's supposed to be. It looks like a sandwich to me though. Or like a you know, jam on toast or something, doesn't it? <laughs> dear, oh dear. Well, Chapman is gonna have a little bit of a sleep, which is fine. She's doing a good job. Doc and Crafty are hauling some things back that we clearly need in our situation here. If we do run out of metal and if it looks like they're not actually managing to build the things that we require then we do actually have a rather large uh, load of metal here as well, which which makes it look very, very good, uh, which is probably what we'll take care of. Now, I want to just see whether or not we can actually build what sort of walls we can actually build right now. Uh, production, hopper, no, metal. So we can build metal walls and wood walls, and that's it. So we don't really want to build that. So what we want to do is like basically design how we want to live inside this area. And then sort of like use the minimum amount of like take out as the minimum amount of stone walls that we can here so we don't have to worry too much about destroying like everything i guess we'll probably live in this one because it's quite it's quite nice and big and then we will actually have like a generator in this one which is probably going to be quite good uh do, i don't know if we want to actually have the generator on the inside but i'll tell you what we can do we can just tell people to mine out like this bit, I guess, because we probably won't need that specific part. Uh, we can get rid of that. I know we can look in the wiki, but we don't need to look in the wiki right now. We're doing, we're doing quite well. <laughs> I think everyone's doing, doing a good job. Chairman over here is heading down, and it looks like she's going to pick up a, a meal from down here, which is good. There's still a little bit more metal that we can take as well, but everybody is still heading down that way to get their food taken care of. Meanwhile, I'm going to actually start to do a bit more makeshift stuff. We're going to go with... Uh, where is it? So look, furniture. No, power. Production. Yeah, budget table and cook stuff. So we're going to go like this. I'm going to put the budget table in here. Uh, like this, I guess. No, we'll have it against the wall. That's fine. Budget table and the cook stove. It's fine. And then what we can actually have is a, a stockpile um, in here, like this, of like uh, prepared meals. So if we do that and we go into this uh, stockpile here, and then we can just go nothing. We want just uh, meals. So we only want meals. So we just go like that, take everything else out, and we don't want anything else, and we just want to have meals. And then what that'll do is it'll make sure that we have all of the meals just kept in that little space there. So there's like room for, you know, however many meals. We can just take the zone down actually slightly because it doesn't need to be as big as that. It can just be that big. There we go. Six, six prepared meals can live in that little area, which I think is pretty good. How's everybody doing? Chapman and Crafty are doing a good job. Doc, how are you doing? You're getting, you're getting us a, a sandwich or something. That's fine. You're taking care of that. You're going to eat that as long as you bring something back. You brought some wood back, it looks like, which is fine. Now let's see what everybody else is taking care of here. Are you going to start building the turrets yet, guys? Because that would be a really good thing to, to start getting, if we can. Let's see how they do. Now, it looks like they don't have enough metal. So Crafty is on mining duty. And Crafty is the only miner... The best miner, <laughs> five out of twenty, so that's fine. I mean, that's you know, she's crafty, so that's that's the kind of job that we want her to, to take care of. So that's that's no problem. Oh, there we go. So this is now what we want to we want to try and take care of. So we go into the butcher table, we go bills, add bill, butcher creature. I uh, guess. Um, how do we want to do this? We want to have uh, do x times take to best stockpile. Drop on floor, yeah, take the best stock bar. Um, we don't want to do berry corpses or anything. Animal corpses is good. Um, suspended, not suspended. So do until you have... Uh, this must be not her target count because there's multiple or unpredictable products. Oh, these are unpredictable, okay. 
Well, I guess we could just be like doing to no. Okay. Uh, ingredient search radius. Oh wow, like that. So we can have it like as big as we want it to be, which is quite cool. Um, do x times. Take to best stockpile. It's annoying that you can't do that bit. So I guess that must be just like we can just tell it to like do some do four like four times or whatever do five times so we can have five meals I guess is it because like that's too big can we just bring that can we just bring that down a little bit and and try again no this recipe cannot have a target count because it has multiple or unpredictable products oh so you have to maybe like chew like okay so if we said like I only want to eat deer and I want to do it yeah, it's unpredictable. Okay, that's fine then. We'll just tell them to do, do like, like five times. Or I guess we have to just go in and tell it to do as many as we want whenever we want them. We still need those defenses to be built, guys. If anybody wants to get on that. Low food currently as well. 35 nutrition worth of food in storage. This is dangerously low. Uh, yeah, seven berries. That's not that's not the best. It's not the best. What's, every, what's, uh, what's Doc? Doc, what are you doing? You've been gathering some wood. Oh, you're carrying wood. To stockpile one. Well, do it then. That's fine. We don't actually need that much wood, really. Are you... Where are you going now? You're going to go get some more wood. From, like, over here. Uh, I guess, I mean, if you want to haul it, you know, whatever. I'm not going to stop you. We've got we've got Crafty on the, on the metal duty over here. And it looks like we're actually getting very close to having enough metal to build the first of these turrets, which is cool. Now Crafty's off. She's going to eat us... A, a, packaged survival meal which is really important because we don't have uh, enough food going on at the moment so that's fine we've got Chapman who's hauling the silver and Doc who's hauling the wood so that's fine everyone's on haul duty because that is that is pretty important I guess uh, now how, how else is the hauling yeah hauling has been done by everybody which I, I think is probably actually important because there's times where you want to quickly like move a gun from one place to another place so we need to like take care of that uh, we'll make these usable again I guess is there anything else that we need to worry about or is that all just like those I think that's all I think that's all okay Jammin is uh, eating from a packaged survival meal as well which is fine Crafty can you build this stuff oh you're doing it yes this is amazing okay it looks like we're actually going to have a gun built and ready to take out any potential enemy targets if we need to. Then we can have ourselves sort of sitting in here and, and surviving, which is going to be pretty cool. Done. And it's got power. It's moving. Yes. Perfect. Everyone knows that you don't want to stay on this rock for long, but Doc is suggesting that you give the colony a name anyway. What should it be called? Camp Kafkast. Of course. Duh. That's amazing. The colony is now known as Camp Kafkast. Okay, Camp Kafkast, we're doing well. Uh, Doc and Crafty are having a little sleep again now. They're doing well. They're, I mean, they're, they're relaxing. They're chilling out Max and relaxing all cool and all shooting some people upside the school. Doc's woken up. Doesn't want to sleep next to Chapman. There's, there's, there's a, got a problem. Unfortunately, Doc is... Uh, well, she's hungry. That's the problem. <laughs> okay, Crafty. Are you going to eat as well? Or are you going to just get, gonna get on? Okay, well, that's fine. If you want to get on, then just do it. Do you have enough metal? No. Oh, you're just hauling that. Oh, you're, you're doing some potatoes, though. That's good. Yeah, everyone get on the potato duty. They're ready to go. Those bad boys are, are, are looking looking mighty fine. Looking mighty fine. So Crafty and Chapman will take care of that whilst Doc is uh, gone to eat a f eat some food. Oh, she's coming back now. So she oh no, she's gonna she's on the harvesting duty as well. Well, that's good. Everyone's taking care of it for us, which is pretty nice. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so. They're all just going to take care of that. Hopefully they'll, they'll sort of like put all the potatoes together and stockpile them somewhere. All the grown ones anyway. Because this is definitely taking care of our low food situation. Look, Look how many potatoes we've got. <laughs> potatoes coming out of the Yazoo. Man, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to cut this in half. Um, how am I going to do that? Zone. If I delete half of the zone. Well, we'll let them. We'll, we'll do this at this side. Uh, like that. And then we'll recreate it into a growing zone like this. And we will order this growing zone. Uh, can we take it bigger? That's it, growing. This one's going to create, let's say, like, what's a poplar tree? I have no idea. Let's get some strawberries going here. Strawberry plants on, on that 
that plantation or whatever you want to call it. And then I would say probably the next growing zone will be like a 12 by 12. So we go 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then this one is going to be for growing trees. Because that's obviously pretty important. Uh, but also at the same time we can get the orders out to start just to chop down all these badass trees here. And also haul all the stuff that's like in the way there as well. You've been watching the Gapcast. We hope you had enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Gapcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.